T53 softening point. Complete preparation and testing of asphalt binder specimens within six hours. Boil and cool a sufficient quantity of distilled water to conduct the test. Stir frequently while heating sample to prevent local overheating until sufficiently fluid to pour. Do not stir air bubbles into the sample. Do not heat the asphalt sample for longer than two hours. Do not heat the sample hotter than 110 degrees C above the estimated softening point. Coat the pouring plate with a thin layer of release agent. Heat two brass rings near the pouring temperature of the sample and place them on the plate covered with the release agent. Do not heat the pouring plate. Fill each ring slightly more than full without running over the edge and cool to room temperature for at least 30 minutes. Complete the test within 240 minutes of filling the rings. After the sample has cooled to room temperature, trim the excess material level to the top of the ring with a hot knife or spatula. For expected softening points between 30 and 80 degrees C, use freshly boiled distilled water as the bath fluid. Start the test with the water at 5 plus or minus 1 degree C. For expected softening point from 80 to 157 C, use USP glycerin as the bath fluid. Start the test with the glycerin no higher than 30 plus or minus 1 C. Move the apparatus to the laboratory hood and assemble the specimen rings, ball centering guides, and thermometer. Fill the bath such that the depth will be 105 plus or minus 3 millimeters with the assembled apparatus in place. Place the two steel balls in the bottom of the bath using forceps for a minimum of 5 minutes before the start of the test to allow for temperature equalization with the test apparatus. Gently heat or place the bath in ice water as necessary to maintain the bath temperature for 15 minutes prior to the start of the test. Do not contaminate the bath liquid. Use forceps to place a ball from the bottom of the bath into each of the ball centering guides. Heat the bath at the rate specified in the test method. Use a shield if needed to protect the bath from drafts. Do not average the test temperature rise during the course of the test. Discard test results in which the temperature rise falls outside the limit specified in the test method. As the asphalt binder surrounding each test specimen touches the bottom plate, immediately record the temperature shown on the thermometer. If the temperature of the specimens differs by more than 1 degree C, run the test again using new samples.